Welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member will be sharing with you an object from the permanent collection. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new chat. My name is Kristen Spangenberg, and I'm curator of prints. I'd like to share with you a tribute to an artist I had a chance to spend an afternoon with in Tokyo, Japan. Her name was Toko Shinoda. She passed away March 1st this year at 107 years old. She had over five decades career. She was born in Manchura in 1913 and returned to Japan and grew up in Gifu, <clears throat> our sister city. <clears throat> she was trained by her father, who was a passionate call calligrapher and follower of Chinese poetry. This discipline led to her knowing how to do um, calligraphy, one stroke at a time in a particular order. <clears throat> she came to the United States in the mid-1950s and was a introduced to the abstract expressionists Pollock, Motherwell, Rothko, and that led to a new direction in her work, combining calligraphy and abstract expressionism. She is not a school, but an independent artist, and made her way in a male-dominated art world. Cincinnati is very fortunate to have a number of examples of her lithography, a medium that she chose that complemented her work with calligraphy. Lithography is a process by where you draw on stone and then print planographically. I am showing you spring 1978. Note that there is a rectangle of four strokes and then a vertical strong black stroke. And then in the upper left are five or more strokes that are in green, which she added to the print after it was printed. She is a unique phenomenon and after her first exposure in the United States, the Japanese took notice. And she is the only living artist that ever appeared on a stamp in Japan.